Hello everyone, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to show you the unboxing, connecting and setup for Linksys, Linksys Performance Pre, uh, Perfected WRT Router. This is the router. And this router, oh my god, is this router powerful. So we're going to find out um, how to set this up. All right, let's see. So first we will open it up and see what's included and what needs to be purchased separately. Okay, so this router, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna do like a little overview. Okay, so this router is WRT3200 ACM. That's the model number. It's a gigabit router and it has a dual core 1.8 gigahertz CPU. It has a built-in 512 megabytes of RAM, RAM, and it has a smart Wi-Fi app for your uh, iPhone or Android device. And it has a open source, uh, red, it is open source ready software, so the software can be modified by any s computer programmer. It has tri-stream 160 uh, megabyte with two times bandwidth uh, the fastest 5g band of any router so you know this is what it does and let's see and these are gigab gigabit ports so you it doesn't mean that you're gonna get uh, four gig from here four gig from here no it's one gig one gig combined is up to four gig speed and this is uh, Wi-Fi protected uh, setup uh, button and this is the USB 3.0 port this is external SATA 2.0 port which is extremely fast for external hard drives both of these are for server hard drives this is the internet port which goes to your cable modem so basically this is your cable modem input and this is your four outputs for your computers each computer that you want to connect and let's see what we have here. So right here, this is the TriStream 160 that I was talking about. So you, you've got 160 megahertz. Okay, that wasn't gig, gigabytes. Megabytes, it's megahertz. Okay. And at 887 megabits per second per channel, per stream or uh, uh, TriStream, each stream can handle that much data. Not to mention the 433 megabits at 80, 80 megahertz uh, stream at AC 1900, uh, um, you know. So you've got some serious power. And uh, this, let's see, what are the bullet points? The bullet points are the processor, the uh, firmware, open source firmware, 256 megabytes of uh, 256 megabytes of flash and 512 megabytes of RAM memory, and we have smart Wi-Fi app, dual band, advanced. Let's see, what does that say? Uh, Okay, advanced beam farming technology USB 2.0 external SATA port, gigabit Ethernet, and advanced. Let's see. Okay, and advanced uh, security, guest access, parental control, and four high performance antennas. Okay, so now let's open this up and see what we get. Okay, so now I'm going to let's zoom out. Okay, so we have the router, the nice and neat, fancy router. <coughs> we have the setup guide. We have four antennas. 
What else do we have underneath? We have Cat 6 cable. Remember, these are Category 6, not Category 5. And we have a powerful 12 volt, 3 amp power supply. Look at that thing. That thing is huge. Look how huge that is. So the, the more wattage on this, the higher wattage on the radio uh, transmitter. So that means it's a very powerful router. Let's see if we have anything else. No, we don't. Okay, so now we will set this aside. And we will mount this. So, on, on some routers, antennas that go on this side, on this side, are different. So we have to see if this one is different. I guess this one is all the same. On some of them, they are not the same. So keep that in mind. Okay. And there we go. It's all good to go. All ready to go. So for initial setup, what I need to do, for initial setup, I need to hook this up from right here. From, no, from one of these. From one of these, I have to hook it up to my computer LAN port. And from the LAN port, I will access it with the default uh, IP which in some, some routers it's 192.168.1.1 and others it's 192.168.0.1 that is your uh, default access page which uh, you know you have to uh, do that to punch in to access the setup page so let's get started what I'm doing is plugging in Let's see here. I'm plugging in this, the yellow one. I'm plugging the other end to my modem, high speed modem. So I plugged in the internet. And as you can see, let me zoom this in. The internet is solid. Uh, it's a uh, solid white, power is solid white and all the uh, computer connection is solid white, so this is good. Wi-Fi's haven't been enabled yet. Just the internet connection is solid white, which is good. And now let's go back and see where we're at as far as this is concerned. So now I click next. Okay, so it's telling me uh, keep the current latest performance security, install the updates. Uh, yeah, let it install the updates automatically. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to do the updates manually because sometimes the updates will, will ruin a working router. So I'm going to do that manually. So this is the current Wi-Fi password, which I'm going to change. Um, the Wi-Fi name I'm going to change. So the 2.4 gigahertz, I'm going to put my name let me make sure uh, that I have the names correctly. Yeah, that's correct. Wi-Fi password. Mm. Okay, so the password I'm going to enter later because I will pause the recording when I put the password in. Okay. Okay, so I entered the password and everything. 
Okay, so in this page, you're creating router login password and a router login password reminder. So this is basically the password that you will use to log into your router and do changes and setups and what have you. The default is password and the username is admin. Okay, so these are all my passwords and all that. Now I'm gonna click next. Uh, so let's see, create your own links and smart Wi-Fi account. Mm, I don't wanna do this for now. We just wanna get up and running online. This tutorial is how to get it, set it up, hook it up, get up and running online. The bells and whistles could be thought in future videos, okay? Okay, so now I'm up. Everything seems to be working. I have my both, uh, uh, you know, signals are up. Parental control is off. And uh, so basically it should be up and running. And all these I'm gonna explain later. But uh, in future videos, this was just how to hook it up and start it up and get going. This is how you do it with default settings as far as the security and all that and parental control. All of those are in default settings. Show you the signals, the five gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, internet access, power, and computer network. All are simply, you know, working great. So thank you for watching. I'll make additional videos about how to use all the features and bells and whistles. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.